July 4th, 2019. The sun rises across California's Mojave Desert. Suddenly, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake rips across several fault lines of the Eastern California shear zone and shakes California. Fast forward 34 hours later, while aftershocks are still reverberating, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake breaks along the same fault system, which is felt by millions, not just in California, but across Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico. The Ridgecrest earthquakes, resulting from multi-fault ruptures, were the biggest earthquakes to hit California in more than 20 years, with aftermaths of extensive structural damage, power outages, and injuries. Understanding the dynamics of earthquakes with multi-fault ruptures is important because these types of earthquakes can grow unexpectedly large and are typically more powerful than single-fault earthquakes, as illustrated by the 2023 7.8 earthquake in southeastern Turkey. While geophysical and geological measurements at Earth's surface can give us valuable information on earthquakes, the true action happens beneath the surface where buried stresses within the Earth's crust are hidden from direct view. To geoscientists, this ridge crest sequence is especially puzzling. Why was there a 34-hour gap between what we now know was a foreshock and then the larger main shock? How did these earthquakes jump, connecting geological fault segments? What is the connection between the two quakes? Did the earthquakes communicate in a dynamic sense? Why didn't the foreshock immediately trigger the main shock? To answer these questions, seismologists need to understand the processes occurring in the unobservable subsurface domain. Therefore, a team of seismologists harnessed the power of supercomputers to stimulate the earthquake geophysics using a data-infused physics-based model of the Ridgecrest 2019 earthquake sequence. The computational study joins three physical domains, the surface of the Earth, the surfaces of the corresponding four distinct faults beneath the Earth's surface, and a volumetric representation of the subsurface. These domains are modeled on a variable resolution grid so that computational efforts are applied effectively. To capture high frequency details, data is written at 0.05 seconds for the volumetric domain and 0.025 seconds for the fault data. This high spatial and temporal resolution brings the simulation results to more than 15 terabytes in size. The results of this simulation have revealed several surprises. One unique feature of this earthquake sequence is that one fault segment ruptured during the foreshock and then slipped again during the main event, all within a 34-hour window. Such behavior hints at complex friction mechanisms deep inside the fault, where the rocks might be recovering their strength quickly. It's like a coiled spring that's only partially released before being sprung completely. Due to the size of the data, the original analysis published in Nature earlier this year was based on 2D outputs that were post-processed to create secondary data products. The seismologists were not able to directly visualize the volumetric properties they studied within the Earth. For this reason, they worked with the visualization team at the Texas Advanced Computing Center. The earthquake model simulates the seismic waves that are created by the unzipping of the fault lines. Here, we visualize the magnitude of the sum of these waves using volumetric rendering to show the earthquake sequence cascading across previously unknown antithetic faults. This 3D visualization illustrates how multiple faults can rupture in unison and in complementary ways, defying prior assumptions of earthquake behavior. This animation shows the shifting fault shear stresses across the fault system during the two earthquakes. 
by blending high-performance computing with real-world data on aspects like tectonic forces, ground shaking, and historic earthquakes. These models paint a detailed picture of what's happened during the 2019 Ridgecrest earthquakes. Remarkably, the simulations closely match observations. Our visualization provides insights into how domino-like earthquakes cascade across multiple faults interacting with one another, which is important to better prepare for future earthquakes in areas with multiple active fault lines.